For the 94th time, the Hopkinton Hillers met up with the Ashland Clockers for Thanksgiving Day football. A new tradition started this year as members of the Ashland and Hopkinton cross country team ran all the way from Ashland High School to David M. Hughes Stadium to deliver the game ball. The first points of the game came in the second quarter. A pitch to Will Abbott and he finds the end zone from a few yards out. The extra point makes it 7 to nothing Hillers. Two minutes 40 seconds left in the first half. A high snap on the Ashland punt and Connor Heber makes the tackle for the safety and the Hillers take the 9 to nothing lead into the halftime locker room. Third quarter, 6.57 left. The Hillers turn it over at the three and Ashland takes advantage of the situation. Lofting pass. Oh, oh, number oh. 13. Down the sideline. He's gone. He's gonna make it all the way. Abbott's got an angle. He's at the 10 and he's not able to get him. That's all the way down for a 97-yard touchdown by number 13, Nathan Sickles. 97 yards on the touchdown rece reception. Later in the quarter, Ashland punting and uh-oh, another high snap leads to another safety. And the Hillers go up by four, and that is how the score would stay. The Hillers end their historic 2017 season with a record of 11 and one, and take the victory by a final of 11 to seven. The five and five Hopkinton Hillers met up with the five and five Ashland Clockers for the 92nd Thanksgiving rivalry game. First quarter, Colin Hanrahan gets things started for Ashland as he takes the handoff from about the 25 yard line and plummets ahead for the score. Extra point was good, making it seven nothing Ashland. Hillers threaten to even out the score as Sam Lehman rushes from the 15 and gets inside the five. Hillers were pushed back due to penalties. So what does Sam Lehman do? He sets the Hillers up around the one yard line and then. And he hands off to Lehman. Lehman squirts forward and he is touchdown. in for a touchdown. On the conversion attempt, Jake Keller takes the quick snap and runs through open field right into the end zone to make it eight to seven Hillers. Second quarter, Colin Hanrahan responds, slipping through tackles and forces himself ahead for 13 yards and to make it 13 points for Ashland. Extra point was good, making it 14 to eight Ashland. Jake Keller responds, firing a 53 yard bomb to Jack Vacari to tie up the game. Hillers kick the extra point and lead 15 to 14. Ashland wasn't going away though. Later in the second quarter, Mitch Porter connects with Max Feinberg to move Ashland up to the 27 yard line. Then a few plays later, Porter with the fake and boom, finds Seamus Reardon in the end zone. Extra point good, clockers up 21 to 15. Ashland would get the ball back once again in the second quarter and Mitch Porter finds Joe Schelling for a 25 yard reception. And then Colin Hanrahan finds the end zone for his third time of the day and makes it 28 to 15 clockers after the extra point. Jake Keller responds as he finds Jack Vacari for the second time in the end zone for the 25 yard touchdown pass. Gonna throw Keller pump fakes, now he throws. He's got a man open, it's Vacari, and he has him for a touchdown! Jack Vacari from 22 yards out and the Hillers answer. The extra point puts the Hillers within six. It was 28-22 clockers at the half. Third quarter was mostly a defensive battle. Jake Keller though, continued his roll and launches a 37 yard touchdown pass right into the arms of Will Abbott. The Hillers got the extra point and take a 29 to 28 lead. There's a throw to the middle of the field and wide open is Abbott for the touchdown. Later in the third quarter, Joe Kirkak returned the lead to the Clockers as he buried a 27-yard field goal to make it a 31-29 game. About three minutes left to go in the game. The Hillers positioned at the Clockers 23. Jake Keller fires down the left side of the field and right over a defender to Will Abbott, who takes it all the way into the end zone and puts the Hillers up 35-31. For the middle, and he has, and he oh! Abbott! Abbott gets it! He's at the 20, the 
10, and he is in for a touchdown. And the Hillers take the lead. Hillers later in the fourth took an intentional safety to set up the kickoff. The Ashland Clockers now on their last play. A swing pass followed by a lateral and then out of bounds and the Hopkinton Hillers take a wild Thanksgiving showdown, 35 to 33. Hopkinton and Ashland met on Thanksgiving morning for the 91st time in the home of the Clockers. Snow fell through the previous night into the morning making the field a sloppy wet mess which meant for a very defensive game. First drive of the game, Pat Ryan eludes a couple of defenders and completes to Hayden Pereira who was forced out of bounds at around the Ashland 45 yard line. Then a few plays later, Jay Keller at quarterback, Pat Ryan spread to the left, Pat Ryan catches the football. The Ashland defense stepped it up however, Drew Donahue stuffed here for a loss, then Jay Keller sacked, the Clockers defense get the job done and keep the game scoreless. On Ashland's possession, quarterback Mitch Porter finds Philip Cooper under pressure and Cooper turns on the Jets and breaks into Hiller's territory. Colin Hanrahan then sets up Ashland nicely within the Hiller's 20-yard line heading to the second quarter. Ashland keeps the charge going with this great catch by Max Feinberg. He says he was in bounds, and so does the official of first and goal for Ashland. Then a Hopkinton pass interference call sets up this Mitch Porter touchdown to make it a six to nothing game. A Joe Kirkak extra point put the clockers up seven with 816 left in the first half. After the Ashland touchdown, both defenses went back and forth, forcing punts. But then in the fourth quarter, Pat Ryan goes to Matt Decina here for the first down. And then later in the drive, Pat Ryan connects with Matt Decina for the touchdown. Hillers, an extra point away from tying the game. Problem was, they were still an extra point away from tying. The Hillers said, you know what? It's Thanksgiving. Let's go for the conversion. Ryan takes a snap and throws it incomplete. 6.56 left to go in the game. Ashland up on Hopkinton, 7-6. The Hillers then go for the onside kick but Ashland scoops it up and has the football with great field position. Ashland moved the chains a couple times, but the Hillers defense bent but did not break. They forced the turnover on downs. Hillers get the ball at their own 30 with 2.24 left to go in the game. Keller to Pat Ryan. Oh, off of Ryan's hands and the clockers have the interception. Ashland has a chance to end it here with just a first down. All they need is about a yard, but oh no, Colin Hanrahan jumps and pushes the Clockers back five. Clockers here for the knockout punch, and it's incomplete. Hillers get the ball back. Drew Donahue takes a little pass here, and some good footwork leads to the Hillers first down. Keller then has a big completion of Pat Ryan. Hillers get quickly back to the line. Keller this time finds Pereira inside the 10 yard line and the Hillers are in business. A flag pushed the Hillers back. So now it was about a 31 yard field goal try for Adam Giordano. This is for the lead. Snap, spot, kick, and it's gonna be. And it's good, nine to seven Hopkinton with not a lot of time left. Hillers kick off and Ashland is hoping for a miracle. Lateral followed by lateral, but Hopkinton special teams come through and secure the 9-7 victory. The Hillers finish the season five and six, Ashland six and five.